Oh, what's up, everybody? My name is OMG, WTF, LOF, WBRB. Welcome to a quick little update to not only the WWE versus TEW series, but kind of the entirety of the channel in a way. Um, I'm going to talk about Invasion. I'm going to talk about um, some things that are going to be happening hopefully here in the future and um, maybe even today <laughs> as of this recording. And uh, yeah, so I've got about four people left to uh, edit in this mod. A while back I made a video um, pretty much telling you guys how it was with the WB versus TEW series. Um, Brock Lesnar had a creative control clause in his um, contract, which got me frustrated, but at the same time was a little bit of a blessing in disguise because it got me a little bit of a viewpoint of what was to come with people like such as Dean Ambrose and the Bella Twins, who are out of action at a time in the previous mod. And, um, oh, I didn't mean to click on Victoria Crawford, but we'll go ahead and edit Alicia Fox. But anyway... So uh, I'm going to go ahead and edit these last four people while we, um, while I kind of catch everybody up here if you didn't quite watch those last videos. But um, as I was saying, it, it let me kind of see what we had a, coming forward. Dean Ambrose was out of action. Uh, he could be used in angles, but he wasn't be able to be used in matches, which obviously he's being able to be used in matches right now. Um... Mm, she got better brawling. I will up it up. I'm always... Brawling to me is like... If you can throw a punch and... Well, Alicia Fox. She's kind of got flimsy punches. So, you know what? Maybe a 40D minus is pretty accurate. So, let's leave it there. But anyway... There was a lot of problems with the previous mod. And we weren't really able to move forward. So, it's a kind of a big L. But not WWE's fault. More of... And I'm not trying to blame the Who87 here. A lot of you guys are all... It's a Who 87 fall. And I guess in a way, yes, it is. But give the guy some slack. I'm just, trust me. After doing all this mod editing and stuff, good God almighty, it, it is pretty crazy and pretty intense. And I'm sure you're able to miss out on some things or overthink some things. Like, oh, maybe Brock Lesnar does have a creative control in his claws. You know, because there's been times here where I'm like, hmm... Is this guy, like, just a few seconds ago, is, is she really a 40 D minus? Like, does it matter? Exactly. But, um, the mod stuff is crazy, by the way. They went do editing this, but I'll get to that in a moment. So I, I let it up to you guys. I pretty much, knowing that this series wasn't as popular uh, as I thought it was, to be honest, I left it up to you guys, and, um, a lot of you, I, I said, do you want the series to continue, or do we end this now? I mean, I'm gonna up her. I'm... I don't really pay attention to hardcore too often, but come on. Up that up, I guess, a little bit. Maybe a 15, but I feel like hardcore is such an underrated skill in all Total Extreme Wrestling here. But um, I left it up to you guys. I did a little bit of a poll and um, got feedback on the poll. A lot of feedback. Majority of you uh, were down to keep the series going. In fact, in the comment section, I had people telling me what I could do. Um, I got some great advice. I'm sorry I should have remembered your guys' names, wrote them down somewhere. You know who you are. <laughs> but um, I, I pushed the mod forward. That way we're now we're in August. I still got to get through the, the previous weeks, like the first like two weeks of August to get to SummerSlam to quickly rebook that. Luckily, I took pictures of the damn event so or the booking of the event, so I know all the time and everything for all that stupid stuff. The only thing I don't know is probably like referees, which I'm not worried about whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I fixed up the mod. I, I made it so that we're in August. So I don't have to go through months on months on months of work. And um, yeah, Alicia Fox is pretty good in that state. And uh, so... Now all I had to do was pretty much edit the mod itself, and I edited it so um, certain championships had the prestige and the title defenses that were there, and um, give her like a 35. Storylines, etc., etc. The only thing I haven't hadn't yet edited was um, 
people's performances and skills. I figured if I'm going to edit this thing, I might as well do everything, edit the performer skills and stuff that way. There can't be much of a, oh, that's a who problem. It's more of an OMG problem now because I went in, I edited all these. Now, to be honest, I didn't edit everything, as you just clearly saw there with uh, Alicia Fox. There are times I agree with this, and as I've mentioned in the past, I agree with the who's ratings a lot of the times. I think a lot of those other mods are kind of overpopulated. The one thing I don't really agree with the Who is with the, is his uh, a lot of his popularity given to some superstars. Like some superstars are like a 15, and I'm like, really, dude? Like a 15's like maybe regional in this game. Like you kind of gotta overestimate with popularity in this game because it's just it's supposed to be worldwide. And I'm not saying like Seth Rollins is known worldwide, but He's more than a 60. I'd probably rate him like a 75 at least, which is what I probably did rate him. But uh, with that being said, I went in. I edited everyone's popularity. I've edited... Um, this doesn't really matter. This is Vince McMahon. If he ever gets used, he ever gets used. But um, I guess I'll up his charisma up a little bit, which is all I ever focus on with this stuff, by the way. I never focus on microphone and acting because, uh, in my opinion, WWE is only entertainment-based. It's WWE, for instance. So, microphone, I guess, for certain people like JoJo, I'll rank on microphone because she's not being entertaining. She's just reading off a script, and that's kind of where I go with microphone. But um, I, I hardly even rate now that anyway because most of the time they were shitty per popularity. Now they can probably hold their own. And acting, to me, is just charisma, so what's the point? But, um... Yeah, like Vince McMahon, 70 C plus. I'd argue that Vince McMahon's a hundred A star. He's he's pretty known worldwide. I'd argue. I mean, maybe at least a ninety, maybe an eight, a hundred wasn't too much for me. But in this world where pretty much wrestling is the end all be all, that's all it is. I'd say that Vince McMahon's probably the end all be all, top of the line, one hundred star. But um, I, I don't know, maybe maybe he's not. I rated John Cena a 100 star because he's like a movie star and Vince McMahon's not quite on the level of The Rock and John Cena. So maybe he is more of a 90, but who cares? I'm not going back and editing Vince McMahon. God, okay, it's, I did do it. But uh, with that being said, I, did, I went ahead. I've gone through all these people. In fact, we are on the last person, Windham Rotunda, a.k.a. Bray Wyatt. And I'll be done. I will have edited everybody here. And we can resume the WWE versus TEW series, starting back up with SummerSlam and um, continuing on from there. The plan forward, though, is I am going to upload SummerSlam since I already have the booking saved on my phone. And I can just quickly go ahead and book it all in, and that'll be that. And I don't have to watch the show again. But um, before I upload any Raws or anything going forward, I am going to get Nitro booked and uploaded for the Invasion series. You guys have been waiting patiently there, and um, I've kind of had Nitro done. I've just been kind of going back and forth on one angle here. I'm kind of a stickler. It is WrestleMania season, and I just... I'm booking to make it perfect as I can, so I, I don't really know exactly what I want this certain superstar to say in a promo, and I'm just kind of going back and forth on it here. And uh, that's kind of what's holding that back, but I am almost done with that. So once I get SummerSlam uploaded, we're going to get Nitro uploaded for the Invasion series. I'll probably get at least two episodes of the WWE vs. TEW, so most likely uh, Raw and SmackDown will be done and uploaded. And then I will focus on Heat, get that out, and uh, probably keep that on like two episodes. Invasion episode, well, Raw might take a little while. So, But um, with that being said, I did a little poll a little while back. Uh, as well, before we the Invasion series was was even over. And um, I pulled you guys on it, asking if we should do everything or some things here in, uh, in the WWE vs. TEW series. Because, uh, you know, some of you guys showed interest in other things, like the Mae Young Classic and the uh, UK tournament that was held not too long ago. Mae Young Classic's coming up here pretty soon. So with that being said... Um, that poll from a while back when I checked it, it seemed like none of you guys voted on it, but now checking it again, some people have voted on it, and it looks like you guys are down for everything. I am going to kind of edit that a little bit here. I'm not going to be doing WWE Superstars. I'm not going to be doing WWE Main Event. I'm not doing those shows. I know it would probably help getting like a Mike Kanellis 
or a Heath Slater on the show who probably will never get used as much on my program because I'm only focusing on WWE's main programming. But with everything I'm focusing on in the WWE versus TEW series, to add on superstars and main events, to me, would just be insane. Maybe if I can figure it all out, it's something I could think of in the future. But as of right now, I'm not doing any of those. I will do special events like the Mae Young Classic, uh, like the um, Superstar Showdown in Australia. Basically, if it's aired on the WWE Network as an event, I will do it. It's like their events in Japan, I'll do that. Uh, the, the Greatest Royal Rumble, I'll do that. May Young Classic, Cruiserweight Classic, Universal Galactic Championship Classic, I'll do it if it's in the on the WWE Network. Speaking of on the WWE Network, we are now officially adding NXT to the list. So NXT will be a program we build, or not build, but book. We're going to watch the show, or I'm going to watch the shows. I guess you guys can watch the shows too if you want. But either way, I'm going to book the shows, or not book the shows, but I'm going to WWE book the shows, watch the programs, and uh, we're adding NXT to the list. I might do 205 and NXT together. might actually require me to edit some videos. So, oh gosh, i got to edit for once. But, um, yeah, a little known fact, I never edit my videos. It's very rare. If you ever see me edit a video, it's because there's something that got shown in the video that I didn't want you guys to see quite yet. But um, with that being said, I might put 205 and uh, NXT together since they're kind of like such a short programs and they won't last too long. But um, that that depends because I'd have to... What I might do to avoid editing, because the problem here is I don't really have a program to edit, and I'd have to probably go out and buy a program, which I'm not down for, or find a free program, but usually those are just complicated or overcomplicated. But I'm rambling here, known for that. With that being said, NXT and 205 Live might be the same video, might be a weird video where I already have 205 Live booked, and I just go ahead and show the ratings for that, and then we quickly book NXT as I already have the time stamps on my phone or something like that on the side so we can quickly book it in. I don't know how I'll pull it off, but I might put those together. Um, but NXT, yep, it is added to the list. I'm going to go ahead and call up certain people. That way they're not pissed that they're down there forever like Johnny Gargano and all that. And uh, despite they're already kind of being an NXT in our as our developmental system, it'll still serve as the developmental system. That'll be the title down there and whatever, but we're not focusing on it. Unfortunately, that does mean I didn't think of this beforehand. Um, the title history won't be intact, but uh, that's okay. It's really uh, a small detail that honestly you guys never really see, and um, you guys know it's there anyway. So the one thing I do kind of regret, and I thought about this kind of like halfway through when I was fixing up all this stuff is, and I'm going to go have to go ahead and do it over again. Not all of it, but for NXT superstars, because one thing I do for NXT is, since it is kind of held in an in-ground area all the time, I like to up their popularity. I think it's the southeast area. I like to up their popularity to kind of in the southeast area to kind of reflect that the NXT crowd is more of a vocal crowd. But um, I didn't do that, so I'll have to do it afterwards once we kind of get to NXT but um yeah with that being said that is the future kind of of the channel or I guess of the series I've gone ahead and edited literally almost everybody of importance that worked for the WWE I do have to go ahead and hire some people such as like a uh, Trish Stratus who will be at the WWE Evolution pay-per-view she is retired I can go ahead and edit that myself so I gotta do some hiring, all this other stuff. I'm not quite done, but I'm done with the main stuff. WWE versus TEW will be continuing. SummerSlam hopefully will be uploaded today, if not today, um, tomorrow. But I'm saying it's definitely today, if not um, afternoon time, late today or, or early tomorrow morning, depending on where you live. Um, also, one thing I want to say before I leave, I guess this is kind of a thank you to all those guys who have stayed in. I probably should have started off with this, but 
It's not a definite, um, but I may or may not be streaming today. Now, I, I'm not streaming on my own channel. Um, I can't do that. My laptop is horrendous, and I'm still saving up to get my desktop, but desktop is a little bit behind right now because I've got other things to focus on. But I'm going to be streaming today, possibly with my buddy Zach. Um, you guys may know who Zach is. I've recommended him at the end of my videos in the past. Zach Man Manzi NVO over on Twitch doing his thing. And uh, he bought two, or I gifted two, I should say, to him a while back. He, you know, he really didn't understand how to get into it. So we may be booking some ECW today over on his Twitch channel. I'll go ahead and leave the um, link to the Twitch channel down below in the description, go ahead and follow or keep an eye out. I'm not sure around the timetable. I'm not even sure if we are going to be doing this today. It was just something we kind of came up with last minute and we may be going ahead and doing that today. I'm gonna kind of teach him how to play too. And we're gonna book ECW, which was kind of one of his favorite companies. So if you guys are down for that, I'll also post a quick little video letting you guys know that we're streaming beforehand. But uh, with that being said, thanks for sticking around and listening to me ramble here while we edited the last four people of the series, and I kind of caught you guys up on why the channel's been so stale lately. Um, SummerSlam, like I said, will be up hopefully today, late today maybe, um, but if I can, I'll get it up in the afternoon my time, but with my graveyard shifts, I'm kind of sleeping more uh, <laughs> to like it's 6 o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, come on, it's 10 o'clock and I still haven't gone to sleep yet. I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm a weird schedule right now, my man. SummerSlam will be up today. Nitro, hopefully up Thursday. If not, or not Thursday. What is the, I don't know. My days are all messed up. Is today Thursday or Wednesday? It's Wednesday, I think. Who cares? It'll be up maybe a day or two after Nitro. Whatever. Who cares? Have a good one, guys. I'll see you later.